Um, right, I guess we'll go to our first question in the crowd. Who's got big... On that note. Yeah, on that note. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling old and I'm jealous of group maps, so I'm going to go to the crowd. Right, uh, if you put your hands up, there's Egan Beaver up there. Right at the, the back hand. Have you got a microphone? Oh, oh we've got it here first. Sorry, come to you next. This one's for Carl, Jen. Hello. What, what was your favourite right, episode? Right. Your favourite episode. Oh, hey. <laughs> My favourite episode, I think... Oh gosh, there's so many. I had a great episode, I don't know which number it was, but I had a really cool episode uh, where I started to turn into the Canima, and then I was kind of like, I don't know, I had all these really intense scenes with Crystal Reed, with Allison, and um, it was like kind of when I was starting to turn into the Canima, so I had a lot of favorite episodes, but it was that, and also the one after, at the end of season two, the finale. And what was it? There was a, a, a hand at the back as well, I think. Where, uh, oh, yeah, there we are. Big finger, good work. <laughs> Hiya. Um, would you ever consider doing a reboot with Dylan Sprayberry as the main character in an actual film? Oh, in a film? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is he, was Dylan Sprayberry going to be the next Team Wolf? Wasn't that going to be Freud? Wasn't he going to be? Oh, I don't know. I don't make these decisions. <laughs> I have no. No? It was Sprayberry, because all like the young kids came. Yeah, he was the heir apparent moving moving forward. Yeah, I think uh, we would all consider it. It would be great to be on a movie set for yeah, a few yeah, months. We can work on together. Yeah, yeah. There's Netflix now, so you'd think that that would be an easy sell. So, yeah. Uh, oh, some hands that, oh, just, yeah, there, sorry, two seconds, slide. Hi, Carlton. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sorry, I'm not very good for this. Um, you? you? I'm here. Oh, hey. Uh, you're on two really big shows, so Arrow and um, Team Wolf. <laughs> 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 and, uh, how have you been able to keep up with the both of them? And just one for Tyler, are you going to be in Supergirl a lot more? No. <laughs> we're, he got his own show. <laughs> so we're, we're doing a Superman show, uh, Superman Lois. So we'll, that'll be a bunch of that over there. Yeah. Friends with Superman. <laughs> Your question. Yeah. How do you find it? How do I keep up with it? I mean... <laughs> so well, obviously. I mean, I had to quit both of them to keep up with others that, yeah. So I, it was, I was lucky enough to kind of get to come back to them. And then it was just so, I was so lucky, to be honest, to get to meet these people and to get to do it and also to be welcomed back. Um, yeah, I'm just super lucky. And then I got to come back to the last episode of Team Wolf. Uh, that was really fun too. So, no, I, I can't even keep up with anything. Like, my, I don't know, my mail. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm lucky to have, have gotten to do this. Well, that's a couple of hands in there. Ian, what is your, um, do you have any upcoming projects? What I've been doing for the last uh, couple of years is a, a series on Paramount Network called Yellowstone. <laughs> okay, that, so that is a, that's a full-time thing uh, I'm kind of locked into, uh, hopefully for the next few years. Um, I don't know if you guys get it out here or not yet, but it'll be coming. And then in between, I'm working with a couple of dear friends trying to get a new series off the ground. Uh, and so that would be very, very exciting. That's that's something. That's the most important thing. And so if I, when I can, I'll tell you when that is, but not now. Uh, okay, thank you. You're quite welcome. <laughs> so hi again. Uh, my question is for all three of you. Uh, what was the most cringe-worthiest moment on Team Wolf for the three of you? <laughs> nice. Nice. Was there anything? It doesn't have to be Team Wolf. If there was not a great cringe-worthy moment, but. <laughs> Oh, which one? <laughs> I have one. 
Okay, so first se- the end of the first season, we don't know what's going on. You get scripts like the night before. We don't know how it's going to end. <laughs> and one of the, and the last day we're shooting the last episode, and we're all standing around outside on a break, like ten people, and everyone's phone goes off at the same time, and it's the email with the pages. So everyone looks at their phone and goes, it turns around, and scatters in all directions to find a quiet place to read, and we skip to the very end and read backwards to see if it dies. <laughs> I found out that this a hole. <laughs> Sliced my neck open and I died and no one knew and I and no one had told me and so it was like and then we all slowly walked back to the center and everyone was looking at me like <laughs> I was just like gutted and that was the worst moment of my Teen Wolf life. Cringe worthy. I had a I had a cringe worthy moment that goes along with that for you <laughs> on that finale shoot <laughs> when, when we shot, shot those pages and Ian is covered it's freezing cold it's just cold it's colder than it is like today and it's at night and Ian is covered in like this salami suit this like red syrup and leaves and dirt and mud and he's laying on the ground dead for half the half the night like half the night we shot all these scenes around Ian's dead body and he's just like this <laughs> Looking at all of us in a like a bald cap and all this like burn makeup and everything, and just you could just see him trying to stay as zen as possible. <laughs> he was, uh, I felt so bad. awful. What was you got a couple of those? Things. I mean, mine. It has to do with Team Wolf again. Um, there was a scene, the opening scene of season two, where they're like, "Okay, Colton, it's it's." Uh, 18 degrees outside, so it's well below freezing. It's a frozen lake, and they're like, you're gonna come out of the lake, and but it's fine, because we pumped 100 gallons of hot water in the lake. 100 gallons of hot water is not going to warm up a lake. Um, so they put me in, I do two takes, I get hypothermia. Um, I then am off work, because I got sick for like a week, and then when I came back to work, they put me in the Canama makeup, and it took six hours to go into, and then they didn't shoot me the whole day. So I had just come back from being sick. I was in the Canama makeup for 12 hours. They didn't even shoot me, so then I had to get back out of it. Did you find out you were allergic to I'm allergic well? to, to the silicone, the latex, so I was not able to uh, wear that anymore. So yeah. So, but I didn't have to get in the makeup anymore. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> like, peace, guys. I'm going to bed. <laughs> oh, we oh. had a great time filming. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. Uh, go ahead, a question over yeah. this slide. Hi. Um, my question is um, a bit something else like Teen Wolf. Um, if you had the opportunity um, to, be, to be part of a Christmas movie, what genre would it be like? Um, a classic one like um, It's a Wonderful Life or a funny one like The National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation? National Lampoon's. <laughs> okay, that's my favorite one. Or um, a romantic Hallmark movie. National Lampoon's is my favorite Christmas movie. Hallmark pays forever, like, <laughs> so like, probably like a Hallmark, yeah, money. <laughs> I don't know, I, I would love to do anything, so. <laughs> I would do like a hybrid, something like Love Actually, I think that would be something cool for me. I think like, that's my favorite Christmas movie. Or like really romantic and sweet, like, I am I could very think, romantic. I could see that being you, yeah. <laughs> Are we dating now? <laughs> Uh, just uh, of the back there. <laughs> Hi. Um, my question's for the three of you. Uh, what's your most memorable moment of... I... Oh. Uh, what's been your most memorable moment during your time on Teen Wolf? The time after Teen Wolf, probably. No, no, like in a weird way, like in a good way, like in the sense that like most of my best friends are still from that show. Uh, it's like that's probably the most memorable thing. Uh, is that like it's it's stayed with me. It's not something that's kind of happened. And a lot of times you have projects. It's like a, it's something you go through, and then you kind of have no. There's no remnants of it. Uh, and Teen Wolf is like it's completely like a part of my life now because I can't. I can't do anything without these guys calling and saying, what are you doing? Do not escape. Oh, leave me alone. 
<laughs> Meeting Holland is just, <laughs> Holland Roden is a very unique, unbelievably special, wonderful human being who just is like an alien on this earth. She's the most gorgeous, but also the most unique, like from like, I don't know, just everything with her is just a full-blown comedy. Like, she will drive in her car and somehow end up, like, in a ditch or, like, ramping over another car or, like, running over five people or, like, it's just, I, she is just so memorable and I literally, she's my, one of my best friends. Um, she's basically my mom, so it's like, I'm so lucky to get to still like prank her all the time and she just she walks right into it and it's so fun. Um I love her. These guys, of course. Thanks for throwing us in there at the end. No, like I'm obsessed with these two guys, so yeah. I remember our very last shot uh, at night in the parking lot and the whole crew cast and office came out at the stages and we we knew and it was a cut that it was done and everyone just stood there and we were finished. And that was very memorable. There was like 300 people in the parking lot, so that was cool. Oh. Yeah, there's, a, there's a, a question over there. I think we could say, Polly down there, who's been waiting for a little bit. Well. This is for Taylor. Taylor. I'm the alpha now. <laughs> oh, shake it. Take it, please. It would not go well for me. I hope it suits you better. <laughs> Um, just... um, so... Hey, <laughs> sorry. Um, what is your well for all of you? What is your favorite season? Three. Uh, three. I think it's the most interesting. Most, most developed. I like the storyline between the fact that Malia's your daughter and does it all. That's. Uh, my favorite. Three was, three was good. I like two because it had less of Ian. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the whipping boy all of a sudden. Uh, I say two, but I don't. I don't. I didn't see a lot of the seasons. I don't want to say season. I don't want to say season one. I, I love. I love season one, one and two. Have you seen every episode of Teen Wolf? Every episode in season one and two. <laughs> Have you seen every episode? Every episode? No. I did not watch season five. There's like a N Naga Nusu or something. There's all these crazy names. Naga Nusu. Gets, no, they get two. Gets the name. They get the name. They get the name. They get all these names and all these names. They get the names. All sorts. I, I was trying to finish season five at the minute, but you're not in it, and it makes me really upset. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, That's my fault. Thank you. Hey, <laughs> 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 <It's all right. laughs> sorry. We've got a question now. We've got time for another couple, I reckon. Before we have to call time. Hello. Um, my question's for all of you. If you didn't care, if you didn't play the characters you played, who would you play? <laughs> I always pretend to think about this, and I don't know why. It's, it's Styles. It's the most fun. Uh, the most fun. Yeah, that's Reason. true. Styles. Yeah. I would love to play Chris Argent, JR's character. Yeah. That would have been cool. You basically did, kind of. There was, you were a lot alike, right? Yeah, opposites, but like, I, that would have been fun to be a good guy. Oh yeah. You're a good guy. I'm a good guy. Oh, you meant your character. Sorry. <laughs> I guess the sheriff since I'm so old, right, Tyler? <laughs> it's like a B. Styles is dead. <laughs> you're like, just called old. You're just older than most, most people here. <laughs> Cute, but you're real cute. I can, I'm a big boy. I can take that. I can take that. That's not a big deal. What else you got? <laughs> um, it's a question at the right at the back of the. What's the stand up? Uh, hi everyone. Um, my question is for Tyler, but I also just want to say something to Ian. Um, I hope the rampant unicorn that was in your apartment behaved. Get <laughs> 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 okay, to elaborate on this one. <laughs> Read Twitter. I'm, I'm going to have to hold your question for a second because I would love an explanation. <laughs> oh, you already got it. <laughs> unruly, unruly unicorn. Yeah, but was that the key word, the unruly part? 
the, 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 the general adjective associated with that nation. <laughs> Thank you. Right, a uh, question is for Tyler. Um, we know Derek's history as an alpha was not the best. Um, had Derek been able to tutor Liam, how do you think he would have done that based on his previous experience? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Um, how, would, how would he have done as a tutor for, for Liam? Yeah. Um, better, I think better. I think there have been some mistakes that he uh, had learned from. Um, but I also think it was, it was. I don't know, I, I loved it. That was actually always one of my favorite scenes was when uh, Derek said to Scott, like, you're gonna be good at this. Uh, and it's, it felt like it was such a great kind of passing of the torch. And uh, I guess that's always the goal, right? Like the teacher always hopes that the student could then teach somebody else and do a better job than he did. So. Um, I think he would have done better, but I think Scott was still the right person to do that. Um, one more. I think we have to do one more after this one, uh, and that's, that's that. No. My my question is for Ian and Compton. Over here. <laughs> Got it. Uh, someone's already mentioned Valia, but can you confirm whether Jackson was supposed to be Peter's son if he hadn't left? I had heard that, but I can't remember from where, and I didn't trust it when I heard it. So I did. I really discounted that. Wow, that would have been cool, though. We would have had like, a lot of pro like a lot of crazy scenes together. That would have been that would have been really because I'm mad at you. Yeah, <laughs> you abandoned me. We weren't able to develop as much as we would have liked a lot of relationships. Obviously, so many different characters. And so that was just one they were like, we can't even begin it because then we have to service it. I didn't think I got even developed with Malia enough. But that would have been great. That's great for fan fiction. Somebody write something on that. Reboot. I don't know. They're going to write the fan fiction that they write about the show. Yeah, write whatever you want. I see it all. <laughs> Dirty minds. <laughs> Mostly with him. Had you ever heard that? An accent? Yeah. Even yes. that he was going to be like... <laughs> that you guys were going to have a No, no, that he was my child. <laughs> that, that's the thing I meant, yes. No, yeah. Thank you. Can't take him anywhere. <laughs> Not going to get much better. This, this is like, this is it. <laughs> uh, this one just down here, is it somewhere? I'm really sorry, this is for Colton, but what was it like working on American Horror Story? And like, I really like you all, so it's not just like, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, that was, uh, it was mind blowing. Like getting to work with those people, I was so nervous. And then luckily a couple episodes in, it was, we all became really close friends, and it, but it was really nerve wracking. Um, and my hair was falling out because they dyed my hair white. And um, yeah, it was a very, very, I did not like the character that I had to play because he's not a good person. Um, but it was, it was crazy. Like just getting to do that. And then, yeah, I mean, I think I'm hopefully going to do more. Um, hopefully. So yeah, it was just so cool. It was, it was bucket list. It was awesome. Thank you. Say one more, a team more question, why not? We've got a little bit more time, and, just, uh, and last time, yeah! <coughs> Some, somebody over this neck of the woods. Hi, I just wanted to say thank you first of all, because I've never laughed as much as I have in my life at the San Diego Comic-Con panel that I saw in 2015 and 16, because you were literally hilarious. Um, but my question is, did you have any like input on how your character like finished off in Team Wolf? Or, like any decisions? Zero. <laughs> it was a uh, it was a uh, like dictatorship. We filmed two endings after season two, where I died, and then one where I became the werewolf. Um, and but yeah, but still I had no input. I believe that brings an end to our fantastic team of fellows. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise.